Okay, so now, uh, okay, we are having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 9. Here, whenever it's the case of 0, 1, 5, and 6, 5, and 6, whatever you multiply with these numbers, and you will be getting the same numbers as the unit digit. Unit digit will be the same number 0, 1, 5, 6. Same unit digit, same unit digit. For example, 6 square is going to be 36. The unit digit is going to be 6. 5 square is going to be 25. Unit digit is 5. 5 cube is 125. 5 to the power of 4 is 125 into 5 is going to be 625. Unit digit is 5. So these kind of problems what you are going to look now is finding out the unit digit place. Most of the stint papers you might have found this. So unit place what is the value and all these. So unit place digit will be same whenever you are having these numbers. Fine. Whenever you are having 4 and 9. 4 and 9. When it is case of 4 and it is an odd number. What is 4 to the power of 1? 4. 4 to the power of 3? 64. So whenever it is an odd number, the unit place ends with 4. Whenever it is an even number, what is 4 square? Yes. What is 4 to the power of 4? 64 into 2 is 128. 102 into 2 is 256. Unit place is 6. So all these are the unit place values. Whenever a number is ending with 4, 4, it can either be 4 or 6. And whenever a number is ending with 9, if it is an odd number, what is 9 cube or like 9 power 1? 9. 9 cube is going to be 81 into 9, that is nothing but 729. Unit place ends with 9. Whenever it is an even number, it ends with 1. Okay, 4, 9. Units place ends with 1. All these are only for units place. Nine. Units place are what? You're having? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is units. This is tens. Okay, elementary I'm teaching 100. This is 1000. This is 10,000. Fine. Hope all are remembering this. No confusion. This is called as the units place. I'm finding out the value of units place. Okay. Then don't tell, sir. Did not tell what is unit place at all. How will I solve the answer? Okay. Okay, fine. Whenever the scenario is something like 2, so like 4 and 9 is done. 4 and 9 is done. Whenever the scenario is something like 2, 3, 7, 8. 2, 3, 7, 8. Here, everything you will be having 4 possibilities. 4 possibilities. Okay, for example, uh, for 2, for 2, what are the possibilities? Can be 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, I will repeat. 2 square will be 4, 2 cube will be 8, 2 to the power of 4 will be 16, and 2 to the power of 5 will be 32. Again, repeat. The cycle repeats. Uh, same in case of 3. 3 it becomes 3 power 1 is 3. 3 power 2 is 9. And then 1. 3, 9, 7, 1. The units place. All these are units place values. If it is 7, 7 7s are 49. It can be 9. Then 49 into 7, 3. 3, 40. 9 7s are 63. It's going to be 343. 343. It's going to be 3. The same thing keeps on going. Okay. So, four different possibilities will be there whenever the number ends with 2, 3, 7, 8. Or you're going to multiply a number with these things. Four different possibilities. Fine. These are some of the basics. These are some of the basics whenever you need to find out the unit place value. Now, let us start with some example problems here. Okay. So 3 into 38 into 537 into 1256. What is the unit place value? All are sitting and multiplying. Huh? Okay, whenever they ask in the unit place value, just look in the units place. Okay, what is 3 into 8? 24. It's ending with 4. What's 4 into 7? 28. 8 into 6? 48. Unit place ending with? Do not sit and multiply the entire numbers. Okay, just units place. They're just asking for units place value. 383 into 38 into 38 into 383. Answer. In this place. So 3 into 8 is going to be 24. 4 into 8 is going to be 32. 3 is going to be 6. Fine. Okay. Now, online clear or any doubts? Clear, sir. Clear. Okay. When I'm having a sequence like this, 81 into 82 into 83 keeps on going up to 89. What is the unit place value? What is the unit place value? Now, remember this. Remember this. I did not tell about 5, right? 5. 5, it is, if it is even, well, what happens in case of 5? Even ends with 0. Ends with 0. 5, if it is odd, 5. Even means ends with 0. Odd means ends with 5. 5. Now, here you are having 
81, 82, 83, it keeps on going. Also, you're having 84, 85. Whenever in this sequence, you're having a 5 multiplied by an even number, obviously, the unit's place is going to end with 0. Unit's place is going to 5 multiplied by an even number is going to give you 0. 5 multiplied by odd number. If they are telling, take all the uh, first 20 odd numbers. In that case, you'd be having 5 and an odd number. So, obviously, the end unit's place is going to be 5. Fine. Fine. Okay, next one. 4, 9, 2, 3, 7 into 3, 7, 9, 5 into 738 into 83 into 9. Answer 0 because it is a 5 and a even number. Multiplied by this will give you 0. Which place is going to be 0. Right? Observation. Okay. Units place problems also comes. Initially, I did divisibility. Now I'm asking units place. They last only for units place. They won't ask other place. No, no. Tens place, hundred place, and all they won't ask. Only for units. Okay. 433 into 446 into 43n is equal to n plus 2. Equal to n plus 2. What will you do? Find out the value of n or what's the units place? What's the units? Sorry, try, try. So obviously, you have to do this. 4 into 6 is going to be 3 into 6 is going to be 18. 8 into n. 8n is equal to n plus n plus 2. Now, what you should do? Now, the options given over here are 1, 8, 3, 6. 1, 8, 3, 6. Fine. Then, what is in the units place? Obviously, you need to find n only. Nothing else you need to find. You need to find n. Hmm? 2 by 7. 2 by 7. How can we n 2? 8 minus 8. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is just uh, like you cannot subtract that way. No, it is just you're taking the units place here, you cannot subtract it. It is just for simplification purpose, you're taking that right. So, now in place of n, I can have uh, one, I can have one. If I have one, this becomes. 1 plus 2, it is not equal to this. 1 is not equal to 3. If I'm having 2, that's going to be 5. Not equal to, sorry, it's going to be 4. It's not equal to 2. 3, 8, 3 is a, 8, 3 is a 24. 8, 2 is a 16. 16 is going to be 7. Or, sorry, 16 is going to be 6, right? 6 in the end. Obviously, 6 is not equal to this one. 8 into 3 is going to be 24. So, 24, 4 is in the end. 4 is not equal to 5. 4 is not equal to 5. So, here you check with the options itself. 8 into 8, 64. 4 is not equal to 10. It's not equal to 10. 8 into 6, 48. 6 plus 2, 8. It is equal to 8. That's this. Check with the options. Once this is done, check with the options. Substitute it and find out. Find clear or any clarity. Any clarity. This problem has been asked four times. Same problem. Okay. 8 and equal to n plus 2. Find out the units place part. Fine. Okay. Next. Sum of all or sum of first 101 whole numbers. Sum of first 101 whole numbers. Yes. All numbers means starts from 0. 1, 2, 3. It keeps on going up to huh? 100. Up to 100. You are including 0 also. Huh? First 101 whole numbers. Now, sum there are. Sum means you know the formula. N into N plus 1 divided by 2. Where N is nothing but 100 into 101 divided by 2. That is nothing but it's going to be 55. Sorry, 50. Sorry, 50. So, 50 into something. Obviously, the unit space is going to be 0. Sorry. But here N is 100. Sequence N is 100. 100 into 101 divided by 2. So 50 into 101 that is going to be units place in here. See, all these questions are for units place. Fine. Now, you might have seen this kind of question. 46 to the power of 783. Now, what is going to be the units place? If it is ending with 6, 6 to the power of anything is going to give it 6 one, 6 one, Right? So take up this. 65 to the power of 479. 22 to the power of 23. 2014 to the power of 1999, 623 to the power of 49, 49 to the power of 4, 882. Good. Okay. What's the remainder in the first one? Six. Second one? Five. Five. Third one? All are sure? All are sure? Any doubt? Eight. eight only. How you got eight? Okay, see here. So for two, if it is ending with two, how many possibilities are there? Four possibilities. So 23 by four is going to give you remainder of three. What is two power three? Eight. Right? For nine, four to the power of nine, nine, nine. Four. All got this. Got this. Odd power. Odd power. 623 to the power of 49. Seven, huh? Sure. 
How many possibilities for three? Four. This will become one. Remainder is one. What is three power one? Remainder is three, not four. Okay. What is 49 to the power of 882? Sure. One. Odd power was nine square is 81. All about this. Any doubts? These kind of questions will be asked or might be asked. Most of the papers you can see in between they will add up these kind of things. Okay. Now one square plus two square plus three square keeps on going up to 10 square. Okay. What is in the unit space? Yeah. Hmm? This is not multiplication. Yeah. This addition. <laughs> hmm. Or what's the answer for this? Let you tell. If this is a given sequence, what's the answer for this? Okay. See, whenever they give a sequence like this, so it is going to be the last number is n. That is nothing but 10 into n plus 1. That is nothing but 11. 11. Add these two things. It's going to be add add these two numbers. 21 divided by 6. Divided by 6. Answer for this is you want the method only not the boss on this. This is for squares. When you do it with square, it is going to be 6. When, it's, when you're doing it with a single number, it is going to be n into n plus 1 divided by 2. It's going to be different. Okay. So now this gets cancelled how many times? 5, 5 3. This goes to here, 7. So 5 into 11 is, okay. So 5 into 7 is 35. 35 into 11 is, how do you multiply with 11? 3, 5 in the end. So 3 plus 5, 385. If they ask for the answer, it is 385. If they ask for the unit space, it is 5. Fine. Clear? Any clarification? 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square go, keeps on going up to 60 square. Answer. Solve, solve, solve quick. Up to 60 square. Sir, why Sorry? Why it is divided by 6? This, okay, one derivation, then, then I'll ask you derivation only. <laughs> you want derivation means and explain complete derivation. They like want you to come up to the class and explain me everything then. Now you want derivation or you want the formula to do the answer now. All these are some formulas, sir. So tricks. 10 into 20 minutes. All these are short tricks which I am telling so that you can solve it. If I am having a sequence 1 plus 2 plus 3, it keeps on going. Then it is going to be n into n plus 1 divided by 2, right? So here it is going to be something different. For squares, you are going to do this. Answer. One. Zero is in units place. Then it is going to be answer for this is 60 into 61 into 121 divided by 6. 6 goes for 10 times. So it is going to be 60 into, okay, 10 into 61 into 11 into 11, right? 61 into 11 is 6, 7, 1. Into 11 is 6, 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13. 3 here, 1 carry. 7, 3, 8, 1. Into, into 10 will become 7, 3, 8, 1, 0. 7, 3, 8, 1, 0. Simplification. Speed math. Right? 7, 3, 8, 1, 0. Okay. So, okay, sir. Now all are in sequence that you are doing it easily. Now, what if it is only like even numbers? 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square plus 8 square keeps on going up to 20 square. Up to 20 square. Then what to do? Now, the same thing only to do 20 into 21. But here you won't add these two numbers. Instead, you will multiply with the next number. 20 to 21 into 22 divided by 6. The same thing. Divided by 6. Yes. And for this 2 3s are 2 11s are 3 7s are 140 140 into 11 is how much 1 0 4 5 1 5 4 0 fine clear any clarification 20 into 21 into 22 if it is even numbers or odd numbers then you will be doing it in, in this fashion if it is a sequential numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 keeps on going then you are going to do n into n plus 1 into n plus n plus 1 divided by 6. This is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Fine. Abhishek, you are coming to the class for explanation today. Sir, what time, sir? What time? Entire day. Okay. Okay. Now, if this is instead of 20, I'm having like 60. Then what's the answer? Instead of 20, I'm having 60. Then what's the answer? Now, in this case of odd numbers also, sorry. Okay. In this case of odd numbers also, it is going to be the same thing. 23 into 24 into 25 divided by 6. Even numbers, odd numbers. Okay, so squares you did. What about cube then? Cube also will come. Cube also will come. In case if it is coming as cubes, so it is going to be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube keeps on going up to 20 cube. Here it is going to be n into n plus 1. That is going to be 20 into 21 divided by 2 the whole square. n into n plus 1 divided by 2 the whole square is going to be the answer for now it is a cube sequence. Fine.
squares n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. If it is only for even numbers or odd numbers, it is going to be n into n plus 1 into the next number divided by 6. And for cubes, it is going to be n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole squares. Right. Okay, so until this point, we'll just stop it today because other things means factors again we are having. It will take at least like for next one, one and a half hour for factors. I, I think you people did factors, no? So like how to find out the factors quickly, you know, right? Yes or no? How to find out the factors for 120? What do you do? It is called as prime factorization, where you need to find out the prime numbers and you need to find. Remember it? Remember that. Just go back and practice or go back and check it out. The prime factorization. You did. You, you were there. You were there. I think that was your first or second class. Okay. The prime factorization. That we'll check it out. The prime factorization. As of now, all these topics, initial whatever I did was new for you people. The prime factorization you people have done. The others have not done. We'll revise it. Okay. So take care. We'll uh, meet in the evening. I'll already take class in the evening. Come back. So. Thank you.